Hello guys, it's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher and it is day five of our countertop cooking challenge where every day in the month of February and on to the first week of March we are making dinner in our crock pot and our instant pot and we have a grocery list and a menu plan and getting dinner done has never been easier. I have saved hundreds easily, easily last month when I used the Eat at Home Cooks menu plans and I think if you are someone who does not typically menu plan and grocery shop this could be for you. So today we are making slow cooker chicken and dumplings. I'm gonna show you a couple kind of sneak things that you can do to kind of make it a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you some different options, different alternatives um, to make that work. If y'all can then give me some hearts and some likes. I just saw my friend Deb is on. Good morning, Deb. If you guys can um, give me some hearts and likes, let me know you're here. I would love to hear from you what you are making for dinner tonight. I'd love to know where you're from. If you're making something, I wanna know one budget dinner win that you had in the last week so tell me what's been your win because honestly from this side of the screen when I hear you guys winning and being successful it makes my job so much more fun every day hello Shirley good morning Cindy so glad thanks y'all for those hearts and likes okay so today we're making slow cooker chicken and dumplings and I'm gonna give you some different options for this one. I have a recipe on my site that I've always used that's always been like the number one favorite recipe out there. Um, but I'm gonna try Tiffany's recipe today because I wanna try something a little bit different. Our recipes are very similar. So I'll give you two different options. You can try it her way, you can try it my way. But if you are interested in the menu plans and grocery lists, I'm telling you what guys, they will make your life so much easier and they are on sale through tonight only with the code early bird all one word at checkout you will save 30 percent off which is a crazy savings and i'm telling you what they will they will make a huge difference if you, i've heard so many people who are doing them are so pleased with them so i'm excited they just real quickly i'll tell you about them then we'll make dinner then we'll talk at the end about menu planning but the thing is you'll get if you sign up for them you get your slow cooker option your whole foods option and your casserole like traditional menu plans all included for one price so you're getting like 72 recipes with grocery lists for as little as a dollar and 13 cents per week so it's pretty fun because um, for that price you just can't beat it it's like getting a cookbook Ooh, Melissa you're making baked chicken and rice sounds yummy that sounds fantastic hi Catherine in South Dakota I bet it's so in there okay so let's get started I'm gonna turn this down so you guys can see what we're making and I'm gonna give you some oh well I want to talk about this real fast first Cream of chicken soup. This recipe does call for cream of chicken soup. I am not a fan of cream of chicken soup normally. We haven't made anything with cream of chicken soup in months, so I'm being lazy this morning and I'm gonna use this. But I have a recipe in the Croctober cookbook that will give you a totally free, um, I, with, ugh, sorry about that. The Croctober cookbook is completely free. You can download it. We'll give you the link. My friend Hannah is over there right now, I think putting comments in. So she'll give you the link for that. You can download it totally for free and it will give you how to make cream of chicken soup. So if you hate cream of chicken soup, then um, you can do that as an option. So, okay, now I'm gonna turn this down so y'all can see us make dinner. Hello guys, so glad to see you. Okay, there we go. Can y'all see this? Y'all think if you are someone who knows someone who likes to um, cook or who is struggling with menu planning, if you can um, hit that share this button, I'd sure appreciate it because that makes it easier. Can y'all see that? Oh, oh good, everybody can see, I love this. Okay, so what we are gonna do, I'm following Tiffany's menu plan, but I'm gonna tell you some little tweaks you can do if you'd like to switch it out. But first we're gonna go through how she makes hers. And I meant to get a spatula this morning and I forgot it. Okay. So we're gonna mix together a can of cream of chicken soup. Remember, I'm using a healthy request version. Remember that you can um, make homemade cream of chicken soup if you're not sure about that, so you can do that. Then you're gonna add in six ounces of chicken broth. Okay, so we're gonna add all that in. And we're gonna whisk it together real quickly. Thanks for those hearts and likes. Yeah, I, Kathy, I'm with you on the sodium. We do not, we probably make something with cream of chicken maybe once every two or three months. So I don't feel too bad doing it and I'm just, it's easy. You know what my thought is though? It has got to be better than McDonald's. So I'm thinking it's not the best thing out there, but it's definitely better than the drive-thru. So I'm just counting that as a win. You know, what can you do? Okay, so we're gonna mix together that. Then we are adding two cloves of garlic which again, I'm being lazy this morning. I'm just doing some garlic that I actually got at Aldi. I love this stuff. Um, if you have an Aldi nearby, y'all know I shop there for everything. In fact, here you can see, so this is my Aldi garlic. Here's a shout out for gar Aldi. My Aldi Italian seasoning, this is a dollar. So there you go. Um, so we're gonna mix together those, then we're gonna add in a half a cup of 
chopped carrots, a quarter cup of onion, and then a cup of cooked shredded chicken breast. Now, I wanna tell y'all, you do not have to have your chicken breast cooked ahead of time. In fact, I probably should have shredded this up a little bit more. Your um, chicken is camera. Hang on, sorry guys. Let's see. Can y'all still see that? Yay, okay, we're back. Okay, so you do not have to have your chicken pre-cooked. If your chicken is not pre-cooked, it will still work just fine. Um, what you wanna do though, Y'all, it's going to be one of those days. This is what I, one day, somebody fancy is going to have technology, is going to fix this for me. But my family is none of them, even my kids are not real savvy technologically, so we're just using stuff that's horrible. I think this is set. Hang on, I'm going to try this one more time, make sure I'm set up in here. Okay, sorry, can y'all see that? Tiffany, what section of Aldi is the garlic in? I believe it's with the spices. Okay, now I think we're set. Let's pray that nothing breaks again. Okay, so we've got our can of cream of chicken soup, six ounces chicken broth, two cloves garlic, half cup chopped onions, a quarter cup of onion, a cup of cooked chicken breast. If you don't wanna use a cup of chick cooked chicken breast, just go ahead and use um, regular uncooked chicken breast. Put it in, it will totally cook throughout the day. I happen to have this, so I, and I wanted to make the recipe exactly as she said to, so, um, but, I, but you can definitely use um, chicken breast that's not been cooked. Then we are adding in a, one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning and four ounces. And this is the big difference between her recipe and my recipe. Hers calls for four ounces of potato nochi, which I think that's how you say it. I believe it's nochi. Um, I have never used this before, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. I usually use refrigerated biscuits. I'm going to put the nochi in and then I'm going to tell you how to do the refrigerated biscuits. The nice thing about the nochi is you put it in the morning. The biscuits go in later in the day. And you could obviously be mixing all of this up in your crock pot. It costs for about four ounces. I'm putting a little bit extra because my kids love the dumplings. So we're gonna mix this up one more time, which again, you could do this all in your crock pot. It's just that mine is big and black and ugly and doesn't look pretty. Okay, oh, no key. Not key, no key. <laughs> Y'all are trying to help me. How do I say this word? No key, no key. I thought it was no, it's no key, right, Angela? No key, so not no chi, sorry, no key. Y'all, I know you guys who are chefs are just laughing at how embarrassing this is, I'm so sorry. Okay, so here we have everything that we need. Now we're gonna add those into the crock pot. And I will be honest, this is gonna be just enough for our bunch. In fact, I may add a little bit more after we finish here live because that looks like it's gonna be about, it's gonna be a little bit, I don't think it's gonna be quite enough. Um, so what I may do is add some extra broth then at the end of the day, you're going to let it cook. There you go. No key. That's how I say it. Is that right? No key. Got it? Um, okay, so what we do now, can y'all see the crock pot, is we're going to let it cook for seven to eight hours on low. If your chicken breast was not cooked, then what you would do is at the end of those seven to eight hours, you would just shred up your meat. It would totally be fine. Somebody says, no key. So is it no key or no key? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to look it up. I'm really embarrassed now. I'm so sorry. No key? Is that right? Okay, y'all, I am gonna. I should have looked it up before I did the video. I, in fact, I meant to. I thought I had it down right, and then apparently I didn't. Okay, so you're gonna let this cook for six to eight hours on low. If your chicken breast isn't cooked, you're gonna go ahead and just um, shred up the meat at the end of the day. Then an hour before you're done, you're gonna add in a cup of spinach, a half a cup of baby spinach, and then you're just gonna go ahead, you're gonna chop it up. I haven't even chopped mine up yet. Stick that in, let it cook for another hour, Super, super, super simple. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what you can do if you don't wanna use the, okay, now I hear no key. Guys, I should have looked this up. I can't believe I can't say it. It's, I'm not gonna, okay, so if you don't wanna use this stuff that I don't know how to say, if you don't use whatever that is, which this is potato, G-N-O-C-C-H-I. I'm afraid to say it wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, well, the other option is to make the recipe exactly like you did here, but to use frozen biscuits or refrigerated biscuits, get the cheap biscuits. You don't want the expensive, like Grand's Fluffy biscuits because um, if you use the if you use the Grand's Fluffy biscuits, they make them too big. But what you do is you do the same recipe that she did here. I add in my recipe, I use um, two cans of cream of chicken soup and a 10 ounce can of chicken broth. So I've got a little bit more liquid in there. Um, 
at the end of the day, after it's cooked for six to eight hours, then you add in the biscuits. And what I do is I just open them up. I'm not gonna open them because then I'll be tempted to make something with them and I don't need to make them today. But you open them up and then you cut them into quarters and you put them in your crock pot an hour ahead of time and then you um, just let it, you let it cook for another hour and that will cook the dumplings for you. You do put the dumplings in your biscuits, you don't want them to be cooked. So you want uncooked, cheap biscuits. So you're just gonna literally cut them with scissors. I'm gonna show y'all because otherwise my kids will come up. I'll come up with something to make. Guys, so all you do at the end of the day is just like this, you take your scissors and you cut them up and you put them in your dumplings the last hour that it cooks. So does that help? Um, the best thing about this, another recipe that's great with this too, that is probably what I'm gonna do with this because I forgot to have dinner rolls, is if you cut this, in fact, I'll just make it because it's so easy to make. Um, if you take, I did not plan on making this, but now it's so easy to show you guys. Okay, so then this is a great recipe. It's kind of like Italian monkey bread. So you could use these for your dumplings or you can cut them just like monkey bread. And then you take a little butter and a little, you mix about three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of Italian seasoning. And you bake it at 350. I'll try to write up a recipe for those because they're really, really easy. Yeah, I didn't mean to do a bonus recipe, but now that I have these biscuits here, my kids love this. It's like they're called, I think they're called like, I, it was an old Weight Watchers recipe, and I don't know how it's Weight Watchers, but I think because they give you such a small portion. Um, but you can just, you cut this up, you go ahead and take some garlic and some Italian seasoning and some butter, you brush that on there, bake it at 350 for about 15 minutes and you have Italian bread. So there you go, didn't expect to do that. You never know what you're gonna get. Okay, so I'm gonna start answering some questions now. Um, and then I'm gonna push this back around here so I can see you guys again. There we go, hello guys. Okay, so give me some questions if you have them. Instead of cream and chicken soup, you can use Wonder, Mary, I wish I could see what else you can use. You use croissant dough. I've wondered if you could use like, do you use like crescent, Allison, you said you use croissant dough, is that like, Crescent roll dough, like the Pillsbury kind, um, that would be really good. Oh, Tammy, tortellini would be fantastic in the soup. I think this chick, chicken and dumplings, this crock pot chicken and dumplings to me is more like a soup than it is a um, my traditional ch chicken and dumplings. So it just depends on which kind you want. The other one I make is a little bit more kind of like the Cracker Barrel chicken and dumplings. Okay, Allison, so you said you do use the crescent rolls. Where can we find these recipes? Okay, so the recipe and menu plan that we are using is from um, Eat at Home Cooks. Through tonight only, she is giving us 30% off with the code EARLYBIRD at checkout, all one word. I cannot tell you how much money you will save if you use this. It will save so much money um, and I absolutely love it. I saw someone said um, that they asked if I mix the chicken and dumplings in when I add the biscuits at the end of the day. I do not, I kind of stir them around a little bit at the top, but that's about it. Isn't it 15 ounces of chicken broth? Oh, Deborah. You are right. I'm so glad you caught that, Deborah. So Tiffany emailed us to let us know that it was a little bit more chicken broth. I'm gonna add in, I'm just gonna add in some more water um, because I think I had enough of the chicken -y stuff. So yeah, it was 16 ounces of the chicken broth. I'm so sorry, thank you for whoever caught that. Um, she did fix that in the menu plan and sent it out and I completely forgot to look at my email this morning. Okay, so what you're gonna do is um, at Eat at Home Cooks, you can get all of these grocery lists and menu plans and um, it's it's just amazing. Like literally, if you look on here, you get the, um, it's color coded so you can see exactly what you want. I'm gonna give you an example of what next week's menu plans are so you can hear what they are. Hang on just a second. what is coming next week for other, for folks, you get the entire set. Okay, sorry about that. So lots and lots of venues are here, right? So you're gonna spend basically $1.13 per week when you sign up for the whole year. You're gonna spend $1.13 per week if you sign up for the year, a little bit more if you sign up for quarterly or weekly, but you get 72 recipes with grocery lists and menu plans, which I think is fantastic. Um, some of the examples, I'm trying to find the recipe for next week, which I can't see right now. 
Okay, this set, I believe this is next week's set. Um, slow cooker chicken tortilla soup is gonna be Monday. Three ingredients, slow cooker beef teriyaki with pineapple is Tuesday. Mediterranean chicken in the slow cooker is Wednesday. Chicken fried pork chops in the slow cooker is Thursday. Um, crock pot honey mustard chicken is Friday. And then Saturday is slow cooker chicken corn on blue sandwiches. So, I mean, guys, it sounds so good. And you get all of her slow cooker recipes, you get all of her whole foods recipes, and all of her traditional menu plans. So if you, um, you if you get it, you get all of that included. Cindy, you asked if you get the three months to, um, to try out, what do I get weekly? When you sign up, Cindy, you get the full month, so you'll get access to all of these. You'll get all of the recipes for the whole month. Um, and then each month, so like when you sign up, you would get the February menu plans. Next month, um, you'll get a new email with the March menu plans as soon as she comes out with them. And I believe she comes out with them maybe a day or two before the month begins. Um, the quarterly plan, I just think it's worth trying it once and um, that would be fantastic. Victoria, you asked if we're doing a special dinner for Valentine's Day. We're actually gonna be traveling on Valentine's Day night, so we are not gonna be doing dinner, but um, I'm gonna have a video and I'll be telling you about what we're making, um, but I'm not doing anything special, even though I guess the rest of the menu plan for that day is the three ingredient slow cooker beef teriyaki, which sounds pretty yummy. And you can make the um, strawberry chocolate chip dessert if you'd like to go with it. So yum. Okay, so I'm gonna check through your comments and questions. Remember this code lasts through tonight only. So if you know anyone at all who might be interested in it, it ends tonight. It's um, use the code early bird at checkout. Somebody said get a binder. You know, you should get a binder and page protectors. And the nice thing is then you can reuse these. So try them out for a month or two, see what you think, and then you can reuse them over and over and over again, for sure. Monthly meal plans are nice, so you can look ahead. Yeah, I was thinking about the cost of a cookbook. If you buy a cookbook, you're gonna spend easily $10, $20 on a cookbook, and it's not gonna have your grocery list and menu plan, so I think it is so super worth it. Somebody asked where I found the no, whatever this stuff is, which I'm not gonna even try to say. No, there you go, no tea, no key, no whatever. Somebody asked where I found it. I found it at Kroger. I don't know if Aldi carries that. If any of y'all know if Aldi carries it, I would love to hear that. So I think I've got all your questions answered. I'm gonna show you, don't forget that these are color coded. So next week, let's say you decide you don't want to make the crock pot honey mustard chicken, you can just not buy the things in that color. Does that make sense? Okay, somehow I'm gonna to totally figure out how to say that word. I can't wait to learn that. Y'all are so cute helping me. I appreciate that, Michelle. I hope I can figure it out. Um, but what's awesome, so you can just pick out which colors you want if you decide you don't want a certain one, it's super easy to switch something. Tabitha, you said Aldi does carry it next to the, next to the pasta. This was frozen. Actually, this was refrigerated. Um, I, I really think, Teresa, you just said it sound, it's changed your life. Isn't it amazing? It totally changes your life. It does not include traditional nutri or nutritional facts. There is a website out there that you can put the groceries in and it will totally tell you um, how many calories and fat grams and all of that stuff in. So you can do that if you wanna put those in, but she does not include those in the recipes. Watch the Giada's, watch one of Giada's video. That's what I need to do. I don't ever watch Giada. I guess I need to watch her to learn how to say that word. So funny, great tip, Andrea, Angela. Okie dokie, I think those are all the questions. I will watch through the rest of the day um, and see if y'all have questions. I do just wanna, don't forget, tonight, you have till tonight, and that's it. Um, so if you can figure out, if you wanna order it, definitely get that. Walmart, you said Walmart has it in the, and I didn't see which one you said it in. I can't read them, I can't read the comments fast enough. Um, I Yeah, Sandy, you said, I'm amazed at how great these menu plans. I promise this is gonna save you hundreds of dollars at the grocery store, I, I would guess it will save you 30 to $50 at the grocery store because buying everything on the list costs about 60 to $80 a week. And then when you choose not to go out to eat, you're gonna save $40 just by not eating out if you have a family of five. So it definitely helps. Thank y'all so, so much. Hope you guys have the best day and I'll talk to you soon.